Good morning, or it's mid-morning, it's almost lunch. My YouTube friends and families, the DIYers, the getter dunners out there. Want to show you a little something right here as far as a tool. This is the M12, little hedge trimmer they come out with. Pretty cool little tool. I bought it for the same reason I bought the saw. You can see the opening is a little bit it's narrow there and then gets bigger. But I wanted to, one thing to talk about right here is the little safety thing. Very easy to do. Put down, trigger. Down, trigger. This one is a little hard. It's you got to push here, and it puts me in a little awkwardness right there to do that one. Sometimes I had better luck doing it with this finger on this side and working the trigger with that finger like that sometimes was a little easier maybe they made it a little more difficult because it's a little more dangerous tool we're cleaning up on this house we're about to get it done over here that we've been out for a few weeks I don't know what it is with bricks and concrete blocks on rental properties but I come up with more bricks and concrete blocks these bricks they didn't all come off of rental property I got another pallet somewhere that's just got bricks on it maybe at my other shop that I bricks and concrete blocks that I just picked up over the years at rental property Well, this little house is coming together. I just had the uh, people here painting the porches. I'm getting ready to spray the rest of the foundation. They painted it down to there. And I'm just gonna spray the back. I gotta pressure wash this back here before I paint it, the foundation. And you just saw Jeff, he's washing the fence. We're gonna wash it around. These trees really stain it up and stain the garage up. We're going to get it all washed. But right here is uh, something I bought like those trimmers for, the little M12 trimmers, something small. Just when I've got a little bitty thing like that to do, I need to just kind of shape this up, cut this that's hanging over the concrete here off of the rose bush. So let's see these things work. Uh, I'm interested to see... Did I waste my money or did I make a good investment in a tool? Is it gonna work for just small little things like this? That's a no-go. With the help of the chainsaw, that little hedge trimmer got that bush done. Let's see if maybe this one's a little easier. I have a 6-0 battery on here. Not bad. Not bad shaping that up.
in my personal opinion. The saw is a little more powerful than the hedge trimmers. These are, these are good. It's not something, you know, you'd want to trim, I don't think, a lot of bushes with, but it, it works okay. Like I said, the, uh, the gap is small between the teeth. So, you know, nothing big can get very far. In but that. in saying that, it's worked well right here, you know, just a small little area of what I'm needing to do. Just shape up a few shrubs. Don't have to bring out the DeWalt's. Don't have to bring out the big Milwaukee's. So... Finally. Works better on a shrub type material than it does a woody shrub, you know, just a like a boxwood or like that little shrub I trimmed around the corner. It's struggling with this rose bush. I really like this. I like it a lot. They're a really good pair together. This is even really good by itself. This, now this is just me, David314, you're going to have to have this to go with this because that is so narrow right in there. It's limited on what it can cut. If you remember a couple of videos ago where I was using the DeWalt trimmers and the Milwaukee trimmers, the opening is bigger. And, you know, especially the Milwaukee's, they'll cut through some pretty large stuff. But like I'm saying, I would hate to have that by myself and not have this, or you need this and then some larger shrub, or shrub trimmers. But I really like the saw. I don't like anything getting close to the house or hitting me in the head when I'm mowing. I need this away from the house where I can pressure wash. Lots better. It'll grow back out. It'll fill in. I also want to point this out that I noticed a nail hole to hang them up on a wall. A nail hole to hang them up on a wall. Other companies that I've noticed don't do that. Milwaukee does it, it seems like, on everything they make. That's really a cool feature. He just got the back of the house washed so I can spray the foundation. Painter's already got this. We got a big pile. Luckily, the city comes by and they pick all that stuff up. That's a really good service they offer. We're gonna retire those for today. Hope you enjoyed the little video of the M12 saw and the M12 edge trimmers, shrub trimmers, whatever you wanna call them. They work great on, uh, I don't really know what to call it. Shrubby type material, not woody material. It'll work on woody material as long as it's small woody material, if that makes any sense. Thank you for watching. See you on another video.